No, that, that don't mean that. When you can, you're supposed to come and assemble yourself with the people of God. But but the church is the body of believers, and, and they're all over the world. It's worldwide. And what we are, we are Christ's bride. Amen. Even though we're male and female, we're getting ready for the great wedding. We're getting ready to get married to Jesus. And we're engaged to him right now. And because we're engaged, we're washing up our wedding garment. We're getting some of the spots out, Elder. And we're on it up because there's some wrinkles in our life that we're trying to on out. And some stuff we got to get rid of. And we want to do right, but, amen, sometimes we feel like doing wrong. So there's some stuff in us that's got to come out. And Jesus is perfecting us. And that's why why we go through some of the tests and trial because he's purging us he's purifying us and the only way he can get the junk up out of us he's got to take us through the fire if you don't go through the fire he can't purify you but when you go through the fire you got to be able to say yes lord any way you bless me i'll be satisfied whatever you do lord make me right get the hell up out of me sometimes he got to burn it up out of us y'all are gonna say amen trials and tests will bring what's really in you to the surface sometimes god got to heat the fire up so the impurities can come to the top so we get ready to get married to Jesus. But Israel was God's bride. Israel was God's wife and he loved her. He loved her with an everlasting love. But he told her not to have any other gods. But Israel got tired of serving God. If they thought God wasn't fun. And God put a damper on their lifestyle. And when they looked around at the heathen. They saw how the heathen worshipped. They noticed how that when the heathen went to church. Or when they not so much went to church. But when they went to their assemblies. There were orgies going on. Oh, yeah. What you talking about? <laughs> yes, when you look up Baal worship, Ashraf worship, they had male prostitutes and female prostitutes. So when they would come to the temples, their ungodly temples, I told the saints in Bible study Wednesday, a whole lot of brothers went to church back then. <laughs> <laughs> Because when they went to worship, it was a it was a let the good time roll. It was a love feast or, or sexual feast of, of taking off your clothes, getting drunk. You see, they worship. You, you know where the bunny rabbit come from with, with Playboy and all them? It comes from Asterisk, the goddess of fertility. And that the bunny rabbit represented sex. And that's what they worship. They had folly. They had all kinds of sexual organs and sexual things in their worship. And they brought it in the house of God. They polluted God's house. They had men going with men and women going with women. And they had all kind of uh, illicit relationship. I just want y'all to find out what I'm talking about. And so this king Manasseh, he thought it was boring serving God. And not only did they do that, they went to palm readers, fortune tellers. They called up Reverend Mother Hope, asked her, who am I going to marry? What's my future? Am I going to get any money? <laughs> Y'all ain't going to say <laughs> Am I going to hit the lottery tonight? They called up the psychic hotline. Psychic hotline ain't nothing new. They been doing it. Look what this scripture said. It said here in verse 6, and he caused his children to pass through the fire. Not only did they commit, uh, not only did they commit abortions, uh, but they after the children were born, uh, they would offer their children up to the false gods and kill the children, burn them in the fire as a sacrifice to some false god, something that God never required. God never told his people to offer up living or human sacrifices they offered sacrifices to these false gods hoping that they would answer their prayer it became abomination it was the valley of hidden that's where we get the term hell because they burned their own children in the fire mother just having a firstborn baby husband come tell her we got to offer him up to bail can I get a witness in here? They would take this false, this child and burn them in the fire. Pray to a false God. But God said you are doing something to false gods. Gods that you didn't even know. I'm the one that brought you out. I'm the one that called you out of Egypt. I'm the one that delivered you. Now you're giving my praise to an image, a bird, a four-footed beast. 
Still going. 